Hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm glad you made it home safely in the snowstorm. Mm. The roads were bad. I had a hard time seeing, but I'm here now. <laughs> I started a fire for us. It was freezing in here. Oh, thank you, Al. Oh, and you made my favorite tea. <laughs> Irish breakfast, just a little milk. And thank you for the blanket. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want you to get cold waiting for the fire to start. You're so good to me. <laughs> How was work today? Mm, fine. Just another eight-hour headache, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? You know, my boss just isn't the most understanding person sometimes. He doesn't see things the way I do. You know, my boss sees our customers as, as numbers, as just another policy or, or claim. I understand the insurance industry can be a little impersonal, but I want to be there for them. You know, try to understand them in their difficult situations. I truly care about our customers. My boss just cares about having customers. That's what makes you such a great person. <laughs> Too bad my boss doesn't see things that way. Well, yes, but I do. <laughs> you always know just what to say. Well, I'm always here for you. You know, there's someone else at work who seems to agree with me when it comes to the customers. Oh, who? Delilah. She's only been there a few months, but she seems to share my attitude that we should try to understand our customers. We discussed it. How we feel, how personal connection is, is really important. That's so great. It must be helpful to have someone who, who shares that belief. I agree. But enough about my day. How was yours? I hope it wasn't too boring just being here in the house all day. Oh, not at all. I'm fine. <laughs> I slept in pretty late. Oh, good. I was trying not to wake you as I left for work this morning. <laughs> I appreciate that. I stayed in bed till late morning, so... I didn't get much done early in the day. Um, and then I had a very nice lunch while I watched the snow fall. <laughs> Sounds like a nice way to spend lunch. It was peaceful. And then I putted around the house trying to organize things. <laughs> yes, picking things up and putting them away, I would imagine. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> and then after that, I uh, laid down on the couch and fell asleep waiting for you to come home. I'm sorry, I hope you weren't waiting too long. Like I said, the roads were brutal. Oh, and I left a little bit late because as I was leaving, I stopped to help Delilah clean off her car. Her snow brush broke as she was trying to push through this wet, heavy snow. So I thought I'd give her a hand. So like you, so thoughtful. I'm sure she appreciated that. Yeah, I think so. I gave her my number and, you know, in case she needs help cleaning it off tomorrow, she gave me hers in case I need it. Working with people like that is nice. Yeah, I agree. So you said you had a nice lunch. What was it? Mm -hmm. What did you have for lunch? Oh, tomato soup. It's my favorite when a cold, snowy day. Right. It is. I remember. I just, I just wanted to make sure. It's really coming down out there. Well, how much do you think is out there? I would say 10, maybe 11 inches. Oh, wow. I thought we'd seen the last of the snow. It's almost March. I was really hoping spring would come soon. Yes. It would be nice to see some green soon. <laughs> oh, it sure would. Spring is such a beautiful time of year. There's so much to look forward to with spring. Mm. New life comes alive and everything wakes up. <laughs> Flowers bloom again. Mm. You know what I'm looking forward to? Spring days, long walks in the woods, cutting through fields of tall grass. And going down to the river, mm. skipping rocks, watching the fish swim. <laughs> <laughs> At night, we can lie out under the stars and see if we can find a constellation or two. Or during the day, we can fall asleep under a large oak tree. <laughs> oh, and the flowers. Oh, lilies and roses, tulips. 
violets, lilacs and lavender. It will all be beautiful. The ones in the fields and the ones in your garden. You mean our garden. It wouldn't exist without you. You're right. <laughs> the lilies are your favorite, right? My favorite flower? Yeah. Yes, always have been. Good, just, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> but until then, with all this snow, Yes, it's going to be cold for a while, so that snow's not going anywhere anytime soon. No. You know, it wasn't so bad when we were young. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. But now, having to go to work and run errands, oof, it's all just a pain. Yes, it is. <laughs> but speaking of younger, do you remember our first snowstorm together? Ah, how could I forget? Gosh, <laughs> it's almost 10 years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I can close my eyes and still see myself in my dorm room with you. <laughs> <laughs> that weekend in Kensington Hall is one of my favorite memories. <laughs> We're just a couple of silly college seniors stuck in an old dorm room all weekend with nothing to do. <laughs> oh, nothing to do but drink cheap wine, sing songs, cry from laughing way too much. <laughs> <laughs> While the snow piled up around us. <laughs> oh, holding each other close to stay warm. Oh, it was such a simple time. The lovely times. It's nice to look back on those memories and smile. I could get lost in them for hours. I could too. It was so young and beautiful back then. You will always be young and beautiful to me. And I will always love you for that. Remember our, our last semester together? Yes, I do. It was last March, about a year ago, actually. Yeah, that's right. It was right here on this couch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> holding each other or sleeping in front of the fire. Life was a little less simple by then. Right. <laughs> Just gotten laid off from my job. Yeah. Ma had just passed. Life was tough at that moment. I'd still like to go back to that time. I'd do anything to go back to that time. I know how. Things got a lot tougher after that. I know, sweetheart, I know. Two months later, you were just gone in, in an instant. May 24th. Beautiful day from what I remember. We were so happy. Getting ready to have friends over. Be a nice Memorial Day party. We were just walking through the gardens in our backyard. I went out to join you when you were you were just gone. It was a heart attack, Al. No one could have done anything. I had felt fine. It just happened so fast. Yes, but it happened so fast that I didn't feel any pain. I'm glad for that. But I... I have felt pain every moment for almost a year since that time. You know, I, I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I know. That's why I'm still here. What? The pain you're feeling, the pain you've been feeling. You haven't been able to rid yourself of it because you haven't had the chance. What are you talking about? I feel like a ghost to you, Al. <laughs> you won't let me leave you alone. Emily, it's because I love you. I, I can't let you leave my heart. I, I can't forget you. But there's a difference between remembering me and 
being consumed by my memory. I feel like you're feeling this way because you didn't say goodbye. That's not true. Even if I could have said goodbye, I would still miss you every day. I'm sure that's true. I don't believe that I'd still be here. I love you, Al. But I don't want to see you hurting over me like this anymore. At least not in this, this crippling way. You're a wonderful, thoughtful, kind person. A person I loved. Always loved. Will. Always love. But I don't want to see you like this anymore. What do I do? Continue on. Continue on with life as you would have. You can still hold me in your heart. But you shouldn't see me here anymore. It's not what I do. Isn't it? Isn't that why you made two cups of tea tonight? Is that why you put the blanket out on the couch for me? Is that why you go over those memories every day? How are you supposed to go on with your life? All you do is look back at what has already happened. It's not that simple. You, you just, you don't understand. You're not living what I'm living. I know. But I know that if I were in your shoes, you wouldn't want me weeping over you like this. You'd want me out there living. Of course. I just... I don't know how. Is this last thing that you could do for me, Al? Let me go. At least don't let my memory hold you back. You're still so young. You have so much life left to live. How do I start? Well, maybe you could try talking to people who aren't just a memory. There are people who care about you, who would let you in. You should let in. Be like the flowers. You will bloom again. Hi, Delilah. Hi, it's Al from work. Oh, yes, I'm okay. <laughs> I, I just, I thought it would be nice to talk to someone while we're getting snowed in. Did you make it home safely? Good. Uh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of winter too. I'm looking forward to the spring. <laughs> oh, it's one of my favorite seasons too. There's so much happiness when the world wakes back up <sighs> and the flowers bloom again. What? Oh, um, my favorite is lavender, I guess. But I do have a soft spot for lilies. You? Ah, sunflowers. Yeah, lovely too. You know, I actually have a garden in my yard that will be full of flowers in the spring. Maybe as the weather gets nicer, I could show it to you sometime.